One of the issues that we need to talk about is uh, the ongoing use of discriminatory street checks. Street checks that are stopping people based on the color of their skin. And this is something that must end. We passed recently a motion at our national convention talking about the fact that we need to build and work towards a society and a Canada that is free from street checks. People should not be stopped by the police simply because of the color of their skin. That should not happen in our country. I, I can share a personal story where as a kid growing up, I was stopped multiple times throughout my life, uh, even as a law student. And being stopped in your own community, where you live, where you were born, for no other reason than the way you look, is something that sends a message that people don't belong, that there's something wrong with just being who you are. There's something wrong with your identity. With and that's something we need to stop. We need to make sure that the message is loud and clear that everyone is celebrated in our society, in our country, and that's why it's such an important thing for us to tackle. We also know that there is disproportionate representation in terms of incarceration because of color of skin. In addition to ending street checks, which is one of the first steps we need to take, we also look at the recent justice bill that the, that the government tabled. In that bill, this was a, an opportunity to tackle the Harper era Republican style mandatory minimums, to repeal them and to end them. We know that mandatory minimums do not work in terms of reducing crime. They don't do that. The evidence makes it very clear. And what happens is mandatory minimums disproportionately impact racialized communities, in particular, people from the black community and indigenous communities. This is something that could have been addressed by the government when they introduced their justice bill, but they didn't. And this was a major loss.